Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here, yeehaw, and on Mondays we do tier lists, on Wednesdays we wear pink. What are my chances? Not good. You mean not good like one out of a hundred? I'd say more like one out of a million. So you're telling me there's a chance. Today's tier list is an interesting one because I know a lot of us have been playing Pika Party and there's a lot of discussion around what Pokemon works best for Pika Party. So I wanna break that down in this video today. I have another tier list coming out on my main channel, probably is going to be tomorrow. I was out of town traveling, but this one I really needed to get into. So let's take a look at our tiers here. We have our God tier. We always have one Pokemon in the God tier. We're not friggin' Norse around here. We have our S tier, the so much chewed tier. The A tier, the all chew all day tier, the B tier, which we still have, still got the B tier for some reason. We have the C tier, our choo choo tier, and then our D tier, our Decidueye Memorial tier. At one point, Decidueye was bad and uh, used to hang out in that tier a lot, and now it doesn't hang out there much anymore. But this tier list is all about Pika Party. Let's see, where do we want to start? Um, let's start with. Uh, Let's do a Pokemon. Okay, here's what we'll do. I'm gonna break this down. I'll just start with a sort of hot, not top tier, but a very good tier choice, and that is Pikachu. Pikachu is very, very good in this mode. Um, it's uh, as you can see. I think A tier is a pretty reasonable place to put this Pokemon. It's got a high special attack, and you're often playing at range. It also does very well with Volt Tackle. So I think. This sets up some pretty great situations in Pika Party. It's not the absolute best Pokemon, and we'll obviously get to some reasons why here in a minute. There are a few on the list that I'm sure you know are going to be quite high, but I think this is a solid choice for Pika Party. Um, you're definitely not gonna be upset to see this on your team, but at the same time, you could probably, there's probably some stronger choices that could be made. Let's just talk about one of them right now to get it out of the way, Pikachu. We all know that Pikachu is going to end up uh, at this point on this tier list. It's just that good. You see it in every single match. Um, if you don't have this on your team, you are going to lose. If uh, you do have this on your team and the enemy team doesn't, you're looking really, really great in this mode. It's got Thunderbolt, Thunder, Volta. It has everything you could need. Its Unite move is awesome. Super low cooldown. So... This is definitely an S tier choice for me, without question. And then I feel like now you have this weird spot where you have obviously this S tier choice and it really highlights how rough this Pikachu is. So the next Pokemon I have to put up is Pikachu. And I know some people could say that this is more of a B tier choice here, but I, I really don't think so. I think everything going on with this Pokemon right now is just super underwhelming, especially when you're comparing it to Pikachu and of course Pikachu. Pikachu is just rough here. Rough. And part of me wants to put it all the way down here, but it did get some buffs recently. Um, it got Spell Vamp and things like that. So it's not useless, useless, but there are just so many better options for a Pika party that I think something like this is um it's just super not ideal so that's why it has to be in, in uh, my c tier here um i can't put this one out yet <laughs> i think we all know where this is going but i cannot put this out yet uh okay yeah this one this is either high b low a this pikachu here pikachu is really good electro ball is pretty awesome and you can you know secure some big ko's with it but it's just one of those things where the whole point of a tier list is you're kind of ranking it against other options and it just it just doesn't look great against some other options here. So uh, it breaks my heart, but I do think this one's maybe high B. Someone could make an argument that it's B plus, you know, A minus, but I think this is about where I think this is about where this Pokemon lands for me. Ugh. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I could put it any higher. All right. Um this I, I still can't put this on i don't know do i put this on the board now do i just put it here already i don't know i'm i'm, I'm i don't know Ugh, i just have such trouble placing this pikachu all right um pikachu this is a i think people will disagree with this i think a lot of people will say this is b i know some people are really down on pikachu here but i think this is a i think it's really solid i think what a lot of people aren't recognizing is that 
with emblem changes and things like that, this Pokemon is way more viable than it used to be, but it just doesn't get that much play. So I think other people would put it uh, lower on their list. One big issue is, of course, it kind of fills a similar role here, um, but I still think it's really, really solid. And if you happen to not have Pikachu on your team, uh, Pikachu's pretty dang good. If you were looking at these two, you could flip flop them a little bit. I still think this is pro so close to S tier right here. And let's, all right, we're just gonna talk about this. Pikachu, is, this Pikachu is D tier for sure. Um, It just, it doesn't, it's never the difference maker. Here's one of the issues I have with, with uh, Pikachu here and it's why I have to put it here. It's. I feel like it's never the reason you win the game. It's not always the reason you lose, but it's just, it's not, it's not the kind of Pokemon that's winning games for you. And you have to start putting in Pokemon that are there to win at a certain point. It's win percentage is the lowest out of every single Pokemon listed in here. And you could all, you'd argue that, you know, oh, it's pretty similar between all these Pokemon right here. Like the win percentage is pretty similar. And I couldn't really argue that hard against it but also i have to put my personal preference in here as well i really do think that this is about where pikachu lands i'm sorry i don't i don't know i know uh, i know people are gonna disagree but i just don't think so and i I've, I've heard what people are saying where i'm not trying to do that like ooh, like i'm not trying to make a fun of people who disagree with me here because everyone's entitled to their opinion but it is kind of like oh i've seen it on a you know professional team they've run pikachu but you're not going to see it at worlds you didn't see it at regionals you maybe saw some teams trying it out but i'm sorry that's just it, it just it's in the d tier it's in the d tier um i've okay now we have like we have Two Pokemon, well, almost three Pokemon that are very similar here. I'm just gonna set them right here. We'll talk about them. It's Pikachu, Pikachu, and Pikachu. So, okay, first, if you had to rate these all against each other, they kind of, they kind of fill a similar role, except for Pikachu, obviously, and that's why I think Pikachu probably moves up into the A tier here, while Pikachu and Pikachu are either, you know, B, low B. They're not bad necessarily. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just they're not doing anything specifically that Pikachu is not. And, you know, they're, they are, they are, kind of, uh, here's the weird thing. The, I feel like these used to be better. And then, or, or I'm just going to put on the list here. These used to be better. All three of these used to be better. And then Pikachu was released. So when Pikachu made it to the game, it, it made so many Pokemon, even high tier Pokemon on this list, I swear got almost completely made obsolete when this Pokemon is added. Because if you have, basically if you have Pikachu and Pikachu on your team, I don't care about any of the rest of your choices. I really don't. Because these two Pokemon are going to dominate everything. So yeah, I yes, this one's A. Yes, these are B. Maybe you'll say this is C. If you just really, I mean, I, I could see the argument. It's definitely above Pikachu here. It would, you know, it'd be, look something like, more like this. But yeah, once this Pokemon came out, I just feel like all three of those Pokemon almost became irrelevant, which is sad because I liked this Pikachu a lot. I liked playing Pikachu a lot. And maybe at some points it was kind of close to the S tier, but this Pokemon just, it's crazy. It's Unite move is insane. It, Thunder Thunderbolt, it can, you know, at the same time you could run Electro Ball and do just fine. So I don't know. Um. This Pokemon Pikachu here, this final Pikachu, I think this might be my most controversial take. And that's that I honestly think with some of the changes and with things with boost emblems, I think this is probably S tier. Now, I know I know a lot of people are going to freak out about this because I think other people might have this as low as B tier on their list. I'm probably very much alone in this choice, but I really think emblem changes uh the, the importance of playing at a distance how much that how much value that has in the game right now um and the fact that in this mode you're not if people are diving in on you they're putting themselves in a is in a disadvantageous position so i honestly think this is s tier maybe low s tier but that's about where i think it is so now that i have everything labeled here of course, it's time to figure out what is our god tier Pokemon. And if you couldn't have guessed, I don't think I was that secretive about it. It's Pikachu. Uh, crazy good damage. Crazy good Unite. 
Um, you can play at range, you can get up close and in people's faces. I really think once this was released, it, it made most uh, every other Pokemon in the list kind of pale in comparison. Maybe Pikachu is also pretty good. Oops. Maybe Pikachu is also pretty good. Uh, this is more my personal favorite, but I, I mean, Pikachu, I think for sure is our God tier choice. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was a little fun part. Do, do, do. We mix it around just in case someone skips to the end. No, they're not going to believe that. Uh, no, 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 no. So that's why Pikachu really kind of made its way to our God tier this week. And obviously, Pikachu and Pikachu are just kind of old news at this point. While you see there's kind of a big chasm between the haves and the have-nots. A lot going on up here. Pikachu definitely crushing it right now. Um, and then as you look towards the bottom, you know, you have a lot of Pokemon Pikachu who you, you don't want to use. And then you have Pikachu is just honestly, I mean, I, I, every time I see this on my team, I just think, well, we're going to lose. So I hope you enjoyed that Pika Party tier list. More cool stuff coming soon. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.